Lend me dun, 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 dun. Ear, and I'll sing you a song. A song. I, I'll try not to sing. Out, out, of key. Key. out of key. Out of key. Out of key. I guess that works. <laughs> good, good evening, everybody. Hello. Welcome to your Brothers in Arms podcast. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Uh, this is episode 95 of our Brothers in Arms podcast. I know we're like five away from the centennial mark. I'm we're we're old. We're, we that's okay. <laughs> I'm having I'll, an existential crisis again. I can't spell existential, so I'm not even going to try and type that into the uh, the show notes. But anyway, yes, uh, it's 9:27 p.m. on the Eastern Seaboard. It is Sorry, Saturday, the 26th of March. March. Yes, yes, it's March 26, 2022. And, Lord hey, have mercy. Grandma had a birthday this week. Happy yes, birthday, she did. Grandma. Happy birthday, Grandma. Happy birthday. I Happy called birthday. her. Aww. Yeah, I know. She's she's doing well. I got to call her tomorrow. It's too late now, but I'll call her tomorrow. Yeah. I was off. I was out of country. And we'll get to that later. Yes. So, yeah, yeah. Yes. As you can tell from my lustrous uh, burn of sun that is <laughs> on my face. But that's okay. All is mm-hmm. well. It is good. Life is good. Uh, but good conversation. Come home for that later. But, ladies and gentlemen, good to see you. Uh, we are Patrick, Greg, and Alex, three brothers from the same mother and father. And we are here to hopefully entertain you. And uh, hopefully you're having a good time already. We're only, what, five minutes into this thing. And, yeah, life is good. So, uh, We tell welcome. silly stories. We do. We, we, we tell the stories of silliness that <laughs> tickle us to no end. So, it's hey, maybe you, get, maybe you get it. Maybe you don't. It's okay. Uh, but hi, welcome. Sorry we missed last week. Last week was my fault this time. Nah, you're fine. Uh, and, uh, but hi, here we are, back at it again. Uh, if you follow our Twitter, at your BI Pit Podcast, uh, we feel the need, the need for speed, and another podcast. And we're so glad that you're here. You can follow us on twitch.tv slash Brothers in Arms Podcast. You can also catch all of these episodes on our YouTube channel, at Brothers in Arms Podcast, all one word. So, What's up, boys? How are things going? Oh, oh that's it's good, good, huh? <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's 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 been uh been a good last couple of weeks. Been uh doing the new the new position. I know I told you about you and oh yeah, Alex yeah, yeah, about. Yeah. Um, got qualified, which is always exciting. That's all signed off and in routing. Hey, good for you. So. All goes well. I should have that done. Uh, or I should have that back. Hopefully this next week, as so long as everyone. Like I'm just waiting on the boss man, boss man, to go and sign that off. Awesome. So. So you you'll be finally fully qualified back up to where you should be. In or in this pos in this position, yeah. Where you were. Yeah, well, but in this position where I was before I went on recruiting duty. Yep. Nice, nice. So um, just just paperwork now. Yep, just waiting on paperwork. Let's go, and I'll Let's be an adult go. again. Hey, yay! I can adult. No, Good no for more me. sippy cups. <laughs> I like but. sippy cups. <laughs> I love the sippy cups. They're, They're convenient. Spill. Just saying, they don't spill. <laughs> but but no, it's been uh, it's been fun. Um, Last couple of weeks spent uh, last weekend down in uh, beautiful Norfolk. Oh yeah, right? yeah, what are you yeah. Do it yeah. in Norfolk. I don't Aren't know. you like not anywhere near there? No, I'm not that far. I only live uh, about an hour and forty five minutes, two hours away. Depending upon ninety five traffic, or do you avoid ninety five? The- Depending on the night, no, there's no other. You you cannot avoid. There's no night. other way. No, you, I mean, <laughs> there's theoretically you could go east and you could cut down. I think that puts you. Um, does that take you into Maryland? Where, <laughs> Where am I? It might take you into Maryland. You did Maryland down. I don't That's know horrible. How I got there. But I, I don't. Got there. I don't I don't recommend that to anyone because it's don't go to Maryland. Don't go to Maryland. <laughs> um, sorry, uh, anyone. Sorry, anyone, all of our Maryland listeners. Any friends, I apologize. family, if you happen to no, just so sorry. I, 
That's, that is a, no offense to everyone. That is a state I actually kind of avoid if I can. Um, it is not my favorite place to be. Just, that was the last place I was pulled over. Yeah, it's just it's just not a. It's, By a Maryland state trooper. Their their laws are terrible. They're the people there. The people that licked like from there. Like again, I'm probably <laughs> gonna make some enemies. Most of them have absolutely no idea how to drive, or their idea of driving is to be aggressive as humanly possible on the road. There goes yeah. our one Maryland viewer. Oh, yeah, right. Sorry. Mm. It's like I I just need to go. It's like, bro, slow down. Like, you're worse than New Yorkers. Like, I need to get here. Wow. It's like slow, just wow. Take your like, time. Throw in the gauntlet here, Greg. I know, right? Worse I'm a New Yorker. I have been. Jeez. I have. I have lived and traveled all over this part of the country. I've lived in California. I've lived on the East Coast. I've lived in in the Northeast in 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 the New England area. Um, I I grew up. I learned how to drive down south. I feel like I have enough experience that i can speak about this and yes i'm probably going to rub some people the wrong way however comma i i think i <laughs> think i have <laughs> i think i have enough experience in my 34 years of life and where all i have lived that i can say these things like yes no i've lived in that part of the st in the country and no you really do drive like a jerk like <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry Oh. Sorry to break it to you. Not not trying to be a jerk, but but no, seriously, you you suck at driving. Like hold you're, on, you're... hold on. I think we got a call. Hold on, just a second. Hold on. Yeah, they said YouTube. All right, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's been. Uh, so I went down, went down and visited uh, Oh Boyo and yeah, and his lady and care and his ladies, ladies, you know, ladies. We uh, a party of four. Yeah, Soon. had some had some fun. Uh, mode mode along got a lawnmower working. Hey, mm -hmm. yeah, we busted the I, lawnmower. Out. I think a couple episodes back, you talked about getting that same lawnmower up and running. So yeah, it was it was actually it was a year ago. Um, <laughs> I looked it? it up. Yeah, I looked it up. It kind of made me laugh. Nice. Um, it was a year ago. So we got the lawnmower out of mothballs. Um. <laughs> thankfully thankfully didn't have to do too much we just the battery needed a charge and that was it and it turned right over i put some put some of the good stuff in it just to give it a little extra what's the good stuff please gas. tell me uh, sea foam <laughs> gas and gas 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 gas, gas. 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 and sea foam yeah, if you've foam ever if you've ever if i say if you've ever used sea foam it's yep. uh that is one of my i i keep some of the uh, in the house, or yeah, or mine, always know. Mine's right over there. If you have, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any vehicles, any gas-powered vehicles, if you work with anything that has a small engine, aka lawnmowers, uh, uh, chainsaws, uh, weed whackers, whatever, even motorcycles. S motorcycles. Sea foam is your best friend. It's yes. it is it is amazing. It's magic. It just it. This magic sea foam. Do 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 do. It it uh it pulls it pulls moisture out. It just it does awesome things. It's it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so did that. Um, we made beer. Oh come on! Oh, we made beer. Yeah, we made beer. That was exciting. I I have literally been going down and opening the door and looking at it every day. <laughs> I don't. I don't blame you. Every day, I, they're just looking at the newborn. Oh, look yeah. at it! I can't wait it's so to cute. hold it. I can't wait to drink it. I know. I. I. It's. It's funny, Patrick. So, so. Uh, you know, we had so much fun making uh, Alex and I making that beer uh, last Sunday. Um. On oh. Saturday, on Saturday, we had gone to the. We had gone to the uh, brandy. Uh, Myself, uh, Liz, and Caroline had gone over to the store where Alex had bought the the recipe. I was on duty, and you know, because he was he was on duty on Saturday, right? And we went in and we started looking around, and we took a kit for making cider home, 
because making cider is a lot easier than making beer. You don't have to heat nearly as much water. Um, you know, the sanitation is still the same, but once sure. you've, once you've, you basically, you don't have, there's no like boil times. You don't have to boil a bunch of water for long periods of time. And you literally boil a, a about a gallon of water, add that, the, the, the basic mix and sugar into your fermenter, fill that with water. Make sure it's cool enough where the yeast will actually react. Pitch your yeast, seal it, and put it away. It's that, and and it's done in a week. Nice. So I've had a five-gallon bucket of uh, cider fermenting in the upstairs guest bathroom in my house right now. <laughs> uh, and it, and again, just as Alex said, it smells so nice. Like every time you walk up, it's just like. Oh, I like that smell. <laughs> what's what's the primary taste of this one? Because cider, I think apple or so it's it's an apple it's an apple base. Okay, but uh, it's a mixed berry cider, so hmm. it's gonna have some fruit overtones to it. But sure. by and large, it's just gonna be a an apple based cider. Sounds nice. S- more sweeter. You know, we went, we went, we went on the sweet end because she likes juice. Um, I mean, Kate, I'm literally drinking a fruit sour right now. Oh, so put it in perspective. <laughs> Alex does not approve. This one's actually these are this tastes awesome only because so yeah, it's it's kind of fruit forward, but it tastes like. Um, do you guys like uh, lemon heads or uh, it, it warheads? Looks like a, it looks like a melted dreamsicle. Yeah, it tastes. It's um, pineapple. Two sixes and a ten. Uh, <laughs> I want to say it's pineapple raspberry. That's not a bad idea. No, it's a really nice combination. But it's sour. Um, yeah, it's a it's a sour beer. It's it's a goes. Okay. All right. So here's the problem with sour beer. Go. You have Please. to intentionally add bad bacteria. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why? Because that's what makes it sour. You make a beer go bad, and then you ferment yeah. it. Yeah, that's that's how you make... Uh... I'm good. Okay, well, that makes more sense now why Alex gives it a raz. Nope. He's not a fan because he doesn't like the way it looks. Or the way it tastes, or the way it's made. There you go. Okay. Well, now that we know, and knowing is half, half the, the battle. battle. Yo, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, no. I'm good. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. I'm good. No. Oh, like there, what? there's all these what different. Is, Sorry, what no. is that? That's that's kind of an idea of what it looks. It's not the best. That's that's uh actually this this is a better picture right here. Sorry, right. we're we're getting pictures in our ah. chat, guys. So forgive us for uh, wrong wrong chat. I can't see bounce, it. bouncing back. <laughs> what? And forth. Otherwise, everyone's gonna be able to see what we're passing by. It's my screen. It's up. Hang on. Let me see if wait, I can wait, see. Wait, wait, wait. You can. Oh, I got you. I got yeah. you. So it's just so... Your, your chat bubbles. See. I got yeah. you. Okay. So that That just looks gross. I'm sorry. So you see how that has, so you've got like the bubbles at the bottom and then Uh the, the Mm. big stuff on top. It's literally, it's literally, it's gross. It's fermenting in a, Um, it's with bacteria. Like that's how you make sour beer. Nope. So no offense, Greg, but yeah, I, if I could, I still wouldn't. That's, that doesn't look, no, they they taste they taste awesome. Uh, Cheers. Brr. Nope. Uh. Uh-uh. They're usually low in alcohol content, no more I mean, than five to seven bu- percent. The bubbles themselves look like something that like Frankenstein would cook up. Like, well, again, that's that's it fermenting. Sure. That's not what. But you it's know, still a part of the process. That's Blech. not the final. 
the final process it just looks like really good beer okay all right nope. to each their own worlds away people eat strange things yep. okay got it not doing it got it so besides the beer making <laughs> family channel yeah <laughs> sorry no you're fine what else is good Took we're not telling it. them to go ahead no sorry go ahead we're not telling i'm just like we're not telling people hey go out and drink but you guys are enjoying this so that's that's fine. It's it's it's, it's fun. It's very satisfying to see the end state when you're. Yeah, I, I'm excited about getting to try it when it's done sure. fermenting. Sorry. Like it should be, it should. Uh, mine should be ready by midweek. Like okay. And then All we'll right. have to. We're gonna chill it, and then we're gonna force carb it. So would would they consider yours, which you're making, Greg, at home? Would they consider that a hard, a hard what? cider? Yeah, yeah. No, if you, if if you say it's hard cider, uh huh, that means it's 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 been fermented. It has some sort right. of alcohol in it. Right. Okay, but it's not something that you're going to go buy from the produce section in the little plastic jugs. Not true. Yeah. You can actually turn Apple that. Cider. You can actually turn that into hard cider if you, you can, want. In fact, what? Yeah, absolutely. You can also take the, the mash and know. turn it into moonshine. Yeah. The only the only difference between Mucha? Mucha. the only difference PT between the cider that you you buy at the store and like the hard cider that you would drink at uh, uh, at a at a cider a cider mill like somewhere that makes hard cider, right? is it's been fermented. It's had yeast added to it, and it's been given time. The yeast eats the sugar in the cider and then turns that into alcohol. Okay. That's, that's literally the only difference between... Now, there's a few other steps in there to get to that point, but... But the yast eats the sugar. Yeast eats sugar. Sugar turns into yeah. alcohol. Alcohol makes it into a hard cider. Or in this case, for beer, it's the same thing. You're, we're literally, we're infusing the sugars out of malt and malt extract. We're, we're infusing it into water and then heating that up, adding a plant, in this case, hops. You're putting hops into it to give it a, um, you're boiling hops. Okay. Yeah, right, Buckeye. Hop. It's my it's my lucky hop. You you're boiling hops into into that that sugar water mixture to uh to give it other flavors. And then you're cooling it down so it it becomes susceptible to uh fermentation and you're putting yeast into it to start the fermentation process and like you're giving it the right kind of yeast that you want you know it's like i want this type of like instead of just letting it ferment on its own out in the wild you're literally putting the specific type of yeast you want into it to say i want you to do this and then it'll eat those sugars in the water and that turns it into beer yeah, Liz and then, says she doesn't like beer that hurts her. Drinking sours feels like getting punched. Oh. <laughs> y'all just y stop hating. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done letting y'all hate on the. Well, it's good. Greg, I, I just realized you missed your calling, dude. What's up? You'd be a teacher. I did oh, that for man. a while. You, you broke it down pretty good. I appreciate that. Thanks. It's. Uh, you like I had a guy I I went I brewed with and and he got into the the nitty gritty like not brawled brewed not brawled brewed 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 brewed, brewed, brewed beer broad. with him he broad broad um <laughs> but no he 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 got into the nitty gritty like talking about like how it turns from polysaccharides into uh, monosaccharides and Sugar. You know, the pterodactyl. Oh man, yes. it it yeah. he's he got about he's it was about it was a twenty minute lecture. Silent. 
And I, ha- I literally had to tell him, like, all right, man, you got to stop. <laughs> I, I, can't, I, you know, like, I can't do this. This is, uh, it's, this is too much for me. Yeah. Greg, I think uh, I'm going to look at making us stickers. Mm. Ooh. We're going to get stickers. You're going to make stickers for the beer that you make. No. Or just, just for... for your quote unquote brewery. Yeah, sure. Send me a file. And I'll make you something. Okay. Mm. I can do that. Okay. I'm okay. down. Okay. All right. Yeah. I would, I... I put the lotion on the skin. That's yeah. all I kept hearing oh, when Greg man. was going. The yeast eats the sugar. <laughs> <laughs> the yeast eats the sugar. It puts the lotion on the skin. Okay, Alex. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about your life, buddy. What's going on? Well, uh, the week in between that we missed, uh, I was underway again, uh, uh, which was glorious. I'm on a ship. Yeah. I'm on a, a boat. boat. And it's going fast. And I, th- I thought boats went under, ships stayed on top. Yes, but the song is I'm on a boat. Okay, fine. It's all right. Point. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm gonna put a chalkboard up behind me so I can just you be should. like, Doop. you should, so we can keep because... track of how many times we saw Bob Greg. Or... Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. So it's different like... colors for different actions. Go. I mean, it's a lot more noticeable instead of you and I both going. Yeah. <laughs> Jack, I can just got be it. like, yes. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be perfect. All right, I'll see what I can find. I, I'm that pretty sure I can perfect. steal a whiteboard from work or something. I can get you a whiteboard. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that works too. Brought to you yeah. by the U.S. Navy. <laughs> Everything. Every- <laughs> All of it. Yeah. All of it. But no, so uh, I was underway for a little bit, and then we we finally came back in for a little bit of an extended period of time. It was kind of nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the the boat decided. That uh, they were finally going to do their command holiday party. <laughs> it's March. In March. Yeah, a couple months too late. Yeah. It's all right. We'll make it work. So they were going to do one last year. Not, you know, December, like a couple months ago, but the previous December. But they didn't because we were still all in, like, COVID, COVID protocols. So we, you know, we had a spot and they were like, mm, they canceled on us. We couldn't do it. So we've been working on this, trying to get it done, and it's been on the schedule. Like, we, we have night orders every day that we all have to sign, that we've read them. And it has an upcoming schedule of, you know, this is when we're going out, this is when we're coming back, and that event's on the horizon. And this holiday party has been on the horizon for, like, ever. Because they're like, oh, yeah, it's going to happen on this day. No, oh, that didn't happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Oh, it's <laughs> going to happen on this day. Oh, it didn't happen. Oh, you know, we're, we've moved it. It's now going to be on this day. And then we went underway. So <laughs> it's literally just been like, not going to happen, not going to happen. Until finally they put it back on the schedule. Like, yep, it's happening. March 24th, we're going to do it. So I bought my tickets earlier this week because they uh, the, the command made it a policy that if you went to the holiday party, you got Friday off. Ooh. because they had it on a Thursday night. That's motivation right there. I'll take a three-day weekend. Uh, Two-day. I have duty tomorrow. Oh. Or, yeah. That's okay. I'll still take Noted. a weekend. Yeah. So, no. Why not, right? So, you know, we I, I got my tickets, and Liz and I were, were working it out. Um, one of uh, her friend's moms was staying in town, and they were going to watch her kid, and they're like, yeah, we'll watch Caroline. That's great. Sure. Okay, cool. So we went and dropped off Caroline in uh, the afternoon slash evening. They took her out for pizza and brought Ooh, her back. Fun. And sat down and watched a Disney movie, had a grand old time. And, uh, Liz and I got to go be adults for the evening. It was kind of nice. Nice. So, That's always awesome. Nice. Yes. Yeah. We got all dressed up and uh, went and they, they fed us some really good food. We went, they rented out an entire venue downtown. Um, and I've never been there before because, you know, I've, I've never gone out and done, like, the club scene and stuff here in Norfolk because uh, sure. there's no point. Um, but, yeah, they, they have a place that's called PBR, 
Yeah, oh, like, so you guys went. That's we, where you... We went to okay. PBR. Con continue. Yes. I'm, I'm loving this. So um, PBR is attached to like five other different restaurants in the area. And we rented okay. out the entire place that's called the Waterside District. So you walk in, you check in, you get to walk down, and you're in like this giant atrium area. It looks almost like a mall. Uh, and then it has all these different restaurants that are just all off of it. And uh, the whole theme was around the world. So they had, you know, like a, an Asian-themed restaurant. They had an Italian-themed restaurant. Uh, PBR was Texas-themed. Um, like, it, it was fantastic. So we went in, we walked around. I got to see all of my guys. I got to introduce everybody to Liz. Um, had a grand old time. And then we went and uh, we went and ate at PBR because they had brisket and like a mashed potato bar, a couple other different things. Let's go. Yeah, so the only thing you had to pay for the entire night were drinks. So if you went in and you just wanted to go and do what pretty much everyone else was and just try and get hammered as quickly as possible, there's plenty of opportunity for you to do. But, I mean, they had dance floors. They had um, all sorts of games set up. They had a casino that they set up in uh, Las Vegas, which was kind of neat. Nice. Mm. Um, and then they had, uh, obviously, door prizes, all that stuff. But inside PBR, we're standing in line to go and eat, and we're looking, and the mechanical bull is going. And, uh, you know, we're just laughing the entire time we're in line because they, they have two uh, workers that are there, and they're literally just trading off who's, you know, messing with the bull. And then both of them just try to decide to try and get on it at the same time which just doesn't work in the most hilarious way possible um but then you know once they got the bull warmed up to everybody else in the room everyone else starts trying to ride the mechanical bull while drunk ah <laughs> uh, some of them were i don't know <laughs> not all not, not all, all. Not, not all but <laughs> not all not all but some. some were designated that's true so i don't I don't know if you guys, if, if either of you guys been on a mechanical bull. Yes. Y yeah. Okay. I'm not Tex alone then. Tech Texas, Texas. We were at a place. Um, I was on trip, not on trip, but uh, like, I was doing a thing with the Marine Corps. We were we were there for an event. I was at a church group. Yay! <laughs> well, Liz convinced me that it would be a good idea to get on the mechanical bull. Oh no! In your finery, like oh yeah, wearing oh yeah, like I he wasn't in he wasn't in uniform. No, I was in a suit, but he was definitely fancy. Liz with a tie, with a tie, yeah. Come on, yeah, Liz. I, I took the jacket off, obviously, and I gave okay. the jacket to Liz, and uh, sure. she's she's got a video. She'll um she'll share that with you guys. Uh, obviously not here, but yes, please. Um, I I saw it. I saw it on Snapchat via Brandy. So yeah. I laughed. It, it but was continue, but continue, please. So it's a great story. Um, I definitely lasted longer than eight seconds on the nice. bowl, which was fun. But I'm pretty sure after a while they were just you know screwing with everybody that got on there because they started like shimmying and shaking the bowl, like. Facebook Messenger. Uh, got it. it. Yeah. Yeah. So they started shimmying and shaking it like in time with the move or with the music for certain things. And then I started to slide off towards the end, and they just started slinging that thing until I Aww. threw off. <laughs> it was pretty great. So it was it was a good time. It was a real good time. But we did that, and then uh, yesterday was kind of a recovery day. Um, okay. Because you know, well, I it's it's a command function, right? I'm I'm going to be smart. I'm going to be respectable right i think right. i had three drinks over the entire evening right and we got there at like six something and we left at almost eleven thirty. nice so yeah nice so, that's a good time out yeah it was, good time a, out. it was a real good time and yeah, uh i love it we got a couple of really good pictures with uh the group that we went with um and there, there's one of them you guys gotta see he's holding a golf club in one of them like you remember those those old timey um uh, photo booths we used to do up in Gatlinburg. Yeah. Where everybody could, like, dress up yes. and have all the props and stuff. So this was one of those, except without any of the dress-up stuff. It was just props. <laughs> and for some reason, he picked up a golf club in the first one. 
and and yeah, I I got like Jason Bateman like I need to run away. <laughs> uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So nice. That's fun. But yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah. Very 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 good. Now I'm just waiting for this beer to get done. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right back. Two seconds. Okay. Well, he's gotta go. Bye. Yeah. I need refill. I need him on Sunday. You need him on Sunday? Oh, I need him on Sunday. Okay. I need to convince him he needs to come down on Sunday. Not going to try it by yourself? I mean, I can. I don't know. <laughs> Won't hurt my feelings. Right. <laughs> so, big thing is that uh, we, we got to keg this beer. And I kind of want him to be there for that. So, you were saying that before we started tonight that... Mm-hmm the quantity that you guys have made is substantial. We made five gallons. How? You make five How? gallons of beer at a time. How long will it keep? Uh, months. Honestly, okay. more if you want. Why? Do you just got to keep it cold or? Well, here's the thing. You have to remember. Um. It's not even just. So you're putting it, you know, we're what's up. No, that you went uh, robot on us. It's OK. I it, I was I clicked the button um, <laughs> and I liked it. <laughs> cherry chapstick. OK. Um, oh, man. <laughs> you guys are bad. And I, I it's funny, too, because. I just I know all the songs. Um, <laughs> that but too. no, I know. But I held it up. You were looking dead. He did. He, was, he, was, was he was. He was. He was definitely. <laughs> he was definitely holding up the the two. But no, PT. Um. So when you when you make the beer like that. Um, in this case, we've got uh, both of us now actually, because Alex Alex got one with this with this collection of things that we 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 scored for the brewing. Um, you put it in a keg. I mean, you could put it in bottles too if you wanted, but once you you're putting it into a vessel, and you're removing all of the oxygen from from the from the product. Okay, right. It it has carbon dioxide in it and the bottle has carbon dioxide in the head, like like the the empty space of the whatever it's stored in. So, it'll keep for a while. Like I've got a I've got a a bottle of a glass bottle of something in my fridge that was a gift from uh one of the homebrewers here in the community. Um been waiting for an opportunity to drink it with Alex. He made it, and I know, I, I know, we just, we gotta, I'll probably have to bring it. But, you know, he made it in 2015. Gee whiz. You know, that beer is seven years old. Guess what? It tastes amazing. Now, it's also a very heavy, it's a high alcohol beer. So, the higher the alcohol content, so just, just like when you're, when you're dealing with spirits, like, uh, you know, distilled you know, liquor. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. Or, you know, holy praise. Um, but when you're, when you're dealing with, uh, when you're, when you're dealing with the alcohol stuff, when it's, when it's a really high alcohol content, it'll keep for a really long time because, you know, things don't live in it. It can't, it doesn't, it doesn't. <laughs> It doesn't wow. go. It, it kills, kills your it liver kills. and everything else that touches it. It kills everything else lot. that touches it. Um, you know, brain cells, liver, you know, the whole nine. Um, <laughs> that explains so much. Thank you. <laughs> but but you know, even the so you know, even a beer like when you're you know a low alcohol content, you know, five five six seven percent. You know, you're 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 removing all the oxygen from mm-hmm. from it, and and it's been sanitized. So there's no bad bacteria in it. So there's nothing there's nothing bad in it that can grow. There's no oxygen in it to encourage stuff to grow. Um, you know, you just 
all of those things combined, and I swear you guys are rolling dice again. No, you're um, good. No, you're going. good. Yeah, <laughs> it's just funny. Um, you know, there's there's nothing there's nothing in there that would that would cause it to to go bad. So it just it'll keep for, um, you know, you could you can keep a keg in your fridge for six months, easy, and it'll be fine. It's not hmm. gonna. It's not gonna get stale or go bad. It'll it'll keep for a hot minute. Did you get it? You did it! Yay! <laughs> that was natural. That was natural. That's awesome. That Woo! it's only yeah. only taken us a month. <laughs> Ish. Ish. <laughs> It finally happened. Oh, man. Speaking of which, uh, so Alex, I didn't tell anybody outside of this realm, but Alex did finish the puzzle uh, First. that I gave last week or two weeks ago. He did finish the puzzle like moments after we, we hung up with you all. So yeah, Alex is the winner of the birthday puzzle challenge and so i've already told him that uh he'll be receiving his gift next time i see him because it is something i cannot mail to him so oh uh the the suspense is high it's gonna be great uh but uh but yeah so ladies and gentlemen applaud alex please applause applause Applause, 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 applause. Trying to, I'm trying to clap loud enough so my it'll come through the... There we go. If I talk while I'm clapping, you can hear it. That's what it is. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, no, no, it's okay. I want to I wanna make sure he gets it. No, honest to God. Like, I'm proud of you. You little freaking brainiac. Uh, and Greg did accomplish finishing the puzzle as well. He yes. texted me. Just just a few moments later uh, on Wednesday. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Let's be specific here. Okay. After we got off the phone on Sunday, I, 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 I did the distraction thing. I actually set it aside, and uh, I kind of I wasn't paying attention to it. And then Wednesday, I finally sat back down. I'd had it with me at work, and because uh, I wasn't, I wasn't running the desk, so I had the opportunity. I was sitting there, and I was just able to, like, while I was talking and and refreshing my computer, I could sit there and play with it. And that's when I solved it. So, I'd still say it still took me. I in total, it probably took me. I would argue it probably took me three or four hours total to get it solved, because there was. There was definitely a couple spots there, especially in that last one, uh-huh. that I wanted to throw it at the wall. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was like, "Holy cow! Like, what is this? Yep, this thing is ridiculous." Alex, what's your best time, buddy? Uh, about forty-five minutes now. <laughs> I was about to say because you, you probably you probably keep doing it, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If uh, any one of my guys can get it less than an hour, uh, I owe him something. Challenge so you, accepted. No one has gotten it. Challenge accepted. I'll print another one. Okay. <laughs> All right. So um, the reason Three I weeks. missed last week uh, and we've gone two weeks silent is because my family and I went on a family vacation. Woo! Which is cool. It was exactly what we needed. Um, we drove, we left home on Saturday of last week and uh, got as far as Florence, Florence, South Carolina, and uh, spent the night in a very nice hotel. Uh, very inexpensive, but very nice. Uh, and then got up the next morning, Sunday morning, and drove to Orlando and uh, stayed in a, a very nice inexpensive hotel uh we went to disney springs or uh you might recognize it as city not city walk city walk is universal um downtown disney downtown disney you'd recognize it as downtown disney yeah so that's that's the free uh portion of the park that you can get in park walk around experience all of the wow. the mousy stuff of of disney uh of florida 
Mr. Uh, Mouse. I had, a, I had a churro about this long. It yes. Was the best churro ever. Um, and then I also had uh shoot. A couple other things while we were there. But we walked around, we experienced a Lego store, we experienced uh massive crowds of people. Uh, and I think I got out of that part uh, for less than 40 bucks. That's not too bad. That's fantastic. No, that's not too bad for the family um, as well. No less. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 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 That's great. Uh, so then we went and we, we slept in our hotel and then got up early the next morning and drove to Cape Canaveral. Mm. And from Cape Canaveral, we uh, got out of our car, parked it, locked it and rolled our, our luggage onto a, uh, a cruise ship. Who'd you guys cruise? Who'd you guys cruise out of? Anyways, Royal Caribbean. Okay. Royal Caribbean. Yep. And uh, we were on the Oasis of the Seas. Yep, that sounds familiar. No, Independence. We were on the Independence of the Seas, and uh, it was a cool boat. Um, it was built in '08, so it it was showing its age in some places, but um, the cabin we were in. <laughs> We uh, we shared one cabin, and so there were two twin beds that were pushed together to make a king size bed. Yep. And then from the ceiling dropped two like bunk bedish twin size <laughs> twin size beds that the kids climbed up and slept up there. So if you had to get up in the middle of the night, make sure you rolled in the middle of the bed so that you don't slam your head on the <laughs> a bed. <laughs> don't sit up. Don't, don't sit, sit up, up too fast. No too fast. Up too yep. Um. Alex can tell you about that. Yeah, yep. bless you, buddy. That's why I got a top rack now. Bless you, buddy. But uh, we had two stops. We had four nights. Uh, we had two stops on the boat. We stopped at Nassau, and the kids got to experience another country. Yeah. And then uh, we stopped the next day at uh, Coco Cay, which is uh, their uh, owned island. Royal, yeah. Royal Caribbean owns that island. and. We snorkeled. Yep. Um, we sat on the beach. We uh, rode water slides. We mm -hmm. uh, sat in the sun, as you can tell. Um, and we didn't have phone service. And for Carrie and I, it was probably the best opportunity to get away, to not worry. Uh, we knew that everything was being taken care of here to not worry and to just be a family. And I can't tell you boys how important, how beneficial it was just to disconnect and, and be Patrick, Carey, Philip, and Julia, you know, and, and what a blessing that was. We, we ate every single meal together. We ate everything that we could. Um, there was more, alcohol on that boat than i've ever seen in one yeah. place yep. but here i am walking around eating an ice cream cone while another one is melting in my other hands <laughs> <laughs> he was double fisting but in a I, way. I was definitely enjoying my vacation that's Man, ice cream. PT, that's 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 all that's all that matters, man. Like, if you guys had a great time, you don't yeah. have to drink. If you no. had a good time, then yeah. it's yeah. perfect. Yeah. Um, the kids had access to just about everything. So here's what our day looked like. We got up roughly about eight o'clock. We would go to the wind jammer, which is like the buffet style breakfast. Yep. And then we would go to the pool and we would lounge around and uh, we would sit in the hot tub and we'd get out and we'd go to the pool and we'd sit in the hot tub and we'd get out and about oh, 12 o'clock, we'd find our way back to the wind jammer for lunch. Um, and this was, so this was the cruise day that we were like coming back the, the day at sea. Yep. Right. And then from there, uh, we kind of tooled around upstairs. We, we, we looked at, I, I rock climbed, <laughs> um, <laughs> They they had this uh, flow jet thing that was going on, but we could never like really nail down the times. Speaking of which, the phone had an app on their Wi-Fi that mm -hmm. you could find out where everything was. Right. So yeah. we would then about three o'clock go down for a slice of pizza because pizza was free. 
And so we'd go down and get a slice of pizza. I'd get a cup of coffee. We'd eat that. And then we'd kind of find our way back up to the room where we'd nap. We would nap. Mm -hmm. And we were in the room till about, oh, 5.30, 5.45, 6 o'clock, the Windjammer opened up. And we would go down there and we'd see what the, the meal was for the night because it changed every night. And so we'd get a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I had goat tail or oxtail. I had goat yes. curry. I had, uh, oh, shoot, the best tiramisu I've had ever. Like, we had that at 6 o'clock. And then we had our sit down good meal at like oh. eight. Right. So you guys you guys did late dinner. So okay. we did late dinner too. So and so we went and we we had Mark Anthony was our uh, our <laughs> our waiter. Mark Anthony, ladies and gentlemen. Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony, yes. Way Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony. But anyways, Mark Anthony was our waiter with uh K Toot was his uh, assistant waiter. And uh, yes, it was more than just second breakfast. It was like <laughs> I had sixies. Um, but uh, I had prime rib two nights of that. I had um, shoot. Prime rib was excellent, by the way. Um, Elevensies, perfect. Thank you. Afternoon tea. Seriously, man, you are reading my 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 whole cruise <laughs> effort here. Let me tell you. I'm glad you had a good time. I love oh, it, dude. I, <sighs> When we got back in the car, Carrie was asking the kids, hey, what was your favorite part? <laughs> Can you guess, Phillips? <laughs> the food. The food. The food. <laughs> Nothing that, wrong with that. We we went everywhere with something. Either it was a... Uh, a uh, so she got the drink package for the... Uh, the the Coke. Uh, yeah, so you got, you got like unlimited unlimited soda, unlimited and, and sodas, coffee and, and tea and everything. all that stuff. Right, so we're just walking around with food everywhere, and whew, let me tell you, getting on the Peloton this afternoon, I hurt. <laughs> but boys, it it was exactly what we needed, and what a blessing that was. So, That's great. Yeah, so now we're back at it. Uh, we get to go to church tomorrow, get to preach, teach, and. Uh, enjoy fellowship with my family but uh back in the office tomorrow and or monday and yeah recharged and refueled let's go let's get it that's, that's good, awesome man. i like it so greg you got flash questions for tonight what you got oh let me pull them up real quick i had them saved okay sweet crud well, what about 11 z's luncheon what about afternoon tea dinner supper he knows when about you it, when me? you started talking <laughs> when you said all that i was like <laughs> That's exactly what's going through his head right now. Oh, I can let me feel tell you, it. man. Well, it, it got so bad that the last night we got to our, our late dinner and <laughs> and Philip gets about halfway through his appetizer and he thinks, he says to the table, I think I ate too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, it's okay, bud. I, I can only eat. It's okay, bud. So, yeah, it was quality. All That's right, crazy, because that kid can put some away. I'm telling you guys, like, we got our money's worth when it came to the buffet and that kid. It worked. <laughs> it worked. So, but we've yeah. also decided that Philip is better for a three-day, not a five-day. Because about the third day, dude was like, crawl on the wall i can't get signal <laughs> <laughs> oh dude that's yeah. the that's the mm. yeah we, we got in the car and carrie was like check your youtube make sure nobody died <laughs> it, was oh. fun. it was fun oh man so, yeah yeah it was quality it was quality time it really was quality time that's good so that's real good it took us two days to drive down. Took us one day to drive back. So <laughs> you guys were just like, "Yeah, let's go home." Yeah, let's go home. We're good. We're not stopping. We we no. hit Charlotte, and I was like, "Okay, I we can do this. We're we're finishing." So we pulled in last night around eleven. But well, it, it we'll be good. on. We'll be on a. Brandy and I will be on a cruise end of next month. That's when I'm having a kid. I know. <laughs> well, Alex you're not. Having, but, Alex but it will be part of you. Absolutely. Lady is having a baby, and fingers crossed, it'll be. We'll figure it out. Anyways, I'll all right. I have, I have the questions. They you are pulled the up. 
Let's do it. This will be entertaining. I'm actually really looking forward to these. All right. Every answer is pie. All right. Now jokes. Every answer is pie. <laughs> we're going to give ourselves, man, we've been so far out of this. We need to, we're going to add a little bit. Of, I'm going to get an extra two minutes on this one. So seven. Seven minutes. Okay. Um, because okay. yes. And that'll be fun. All right, gentlemen, are you ready? I'm ready. Locked in the uh, ka All right. And, uh, oh, sorry, order. Um, we will go, uh, Patrick? We'll go, we'll go pag, we'll go pag today. So it'll be, uh, Patrick, Alex, and then myself. Pag. Patrick, Alex, Greg. Pag. Okay. Pag. All right, in uh, three, two, one, and go. First question, gentlemen, what is the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? <laughs> Oxtail. <laughs> Dude, that's like every day on the boat. Yeah, yeah right? What is this? I don't but, know. Uh, it, 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 for me, it has to be something on deployment, something curried that I don't know what meat it was, but we <laughs> ate it anyways. It was still tasty. Cuttlefish. All right, next question. Out of the four seasons, what's your favorite? Dolphin. <laughs> Dolphin. Uh, Galaxy. spring. Okay. Legit spring. Because that's when the that's the best bite. It's the best bite. Uh, dis disagree. Fall. Yeah, fall fall for me. Uh, um, what's the most absurd thing you've ever been tricked into doing or believing? Uh, that the jolly old man is real. Hmm. Riding a bull. <laughs> <laughs> I do solemnly swear to sport and defend the Constitution. No, the shut up. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I think it's funny. Um, I was, it's a joke. But anyways, um, no, I honest, honestly, it's thank it's me for my service. No. Right? Thank, please, thank me for my service. No, it's probably something like growing up, Patrick. Uh, oh, uh, oh, it's my fault. Yeah, just silly it things that we've was, done. Yeah. Well, beating the yeah. fire out of each other in the dark in the middle of the oh, gym. Yeah. I, can I think almost of some, lost an eye. With I can wrapping, think with wrapping paper. Wrapping um, paper. Yes. Never forget that one. What is something that's true that nobody agrees with you on? Uh, oh shoot. Um. Oh, it was recently something that I told my wife. I can't remember. <laughs> but I was right. <laughs> uh. Oh man. Uh, pass. I can't think of anything. That Hagrid can fly unassisted. Oh, there mm. it is. Oh, yeah. And that Donald Trump was a terrible president. <laughs> I get so much. Oh man, I have to be quiet about that one. Wow. Um, Go. What instrument has the funniest sound? <laughs> a wine glass. <laughs> we were playing those at the dinner table, and people were kept looking around trying to <laughs> figure out where it's coming from. Yeah. That's that's funny. Yeah, it's a lot. That's of fun. hilarious. Uh, oh. The straw and Jello. <laughs> yeah, that one's pretty bad. Yeah. Jello. That's a the family channel. We'll tell you that one later. <laughs> I can't believe you just did that. That Thank was you. Um, pretty good. That was very well done. I would say a hurdy gurdy. Um, well, those are awesome. Yeah, there's a weird. I, it was, it's either between a hurdy gurdy or an oboe. Um, Nobody <laughs> likes the oboe. No yeah. one likes the oboe. I like to read like this. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'll like, I'll like, I'll do the tongue thing right now. I, I, I like, it's that, and they stick it in a, in a, yeah. Anyways, uh, moving on. If you could, where would you relocate if you were the, if, if you were forced to leave the country? Oh. Right? It's a good question. Canada. Mm hmm. For reasons of national security, I'm going to say pass. No. <laughs> I, I would say <laughs> that's really funny. I would say Canada or uh, or some, somewhere somewhere in the Caribbean. I don't I don't know what country in the Caribbean. Oh. God. Um. <laughs> do you care what other people tell you? Yeah, I do. Or do you care about do you care about what other people tell you? Yeah, I have to. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm yes. a career counselor. Uh-huh. If you could meet anyone in this world today, who would you meet? Uh, Jesus. Good choice. Easy for me. I mean... Amen. Legit. Bill Nye, the science guy. Hey! 
I don't know who I'd want to meet right now. I'll pass on that one. Okay. Uh, what's the best type of cheese for you? <laughs> Havarti. <laughs> I like saying mm. it. Havarti. Havarti. Monster. Uh, would it be for me or for anyone else in the room? What is the best type of cheese for you? Whatever sets off my lactose intolerance more. Oh. <laughs> A really good sharp cheddar is like... Really? That, oh cheddar. my! Oh my gosh! Hmm. I want it! I want it to punch me in the mouth. Like I, that's that's what I'm looking for. I Jeez also punch. wanted to punch you. In right? The mouth. <laughs> um, More than the mouth, man. It's like the face. Greatest oh. greatest risk you've. What is the greatest <laughs> risk you've ever taken? Uh, uh, All right, that one's a hard one. Sorry for the silence, everybody. That one's a hard one. We can pass on it if we I need got, to. I got two. Okay. Go ahead, man. Riding a mechanical bull. <laughs> and the other one. <laughs> I saw the whistle. <laughs> <laughs> it was right there. It was right out there. I just saw the whistle. It was born to the Constitution of the United States against all these foreign domestic. Um... Oh gosh, I uh, I love this one. Uh, do you have a pet? What are your pet peeves? Oh, chew them with your mouth open. Chewing yes. with your mouth open. Chewing with uh, your mouth open. That's such a gross. Uh, stop it. Bonkers. Who's the messiest person you've ever known? We got just over a minute, gents. I played the fifth. My two-year-old. Uh, mine was an old roommate, uh, and I'll throw his name out there because he's probably in jail. Bobby Arnsdorf. Oh goodness. Um, <laughs> It's a long story. There uh, goes that viewer too, man. Yeah, <laughs> we'll get rid of that viewer. He was in uh, Maryland. Don't worry about. Oh it. man, what's of the two? Which smells better, fresh cut grass or bread baking in the oven? Bread, bread, bread. Uh, I'm um, grass. Bread. Bread smells like beer, Greg. Uh, all time, all time <laughs> favorite Disney character. <laughs> Genie. Uh the the chicken from Moana. Hey hey. <laughs> hey hey. Hey hey. Um Oh gosh. I oh man. This was your question. I know, right? And I'm okay. terrible at it. I don't know. Uh pass on that one. Can you carry an elephant? Uh one bite at a time. No, can you carry, not eat? One bite at a time. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> Alex, um, for reasons of national security, I'm going to skip this question. Pint size pachyderm. And I would, I would say, I would say, uh, yes, you absolutely can carry an elephant. Yay! We'll put it in a keychain. Oh, <laughs> those are some good ones. I'll, That's I'll make hard. sure to, like I'll it. make sure to save those for later. Nicely done, sir. Thank you very much. All right, yeah. so what do, what do you got in the way of dad jokes, man? Mm. Uh, so I used to be able to play the piano by ear. Yeah. Yeah, now I have to use my hands. Now you have to use your hands. Well, that's a good choice. Sorry. You know, some people shave their heads for charity, but I decided instead to comb my hair in two opposite directions. I'm just trying to do my part. Yeah. I like that one. Do, do, do. My wife and I had this long, pointless argument as to which vowel is the most important. I won. <laughs> how do how do moths swim? They don't. They don't, but they use the butterfly stroke. <laughs> what is the scariest tree? Oh. Weeping willow? Bamboo. Uh, Bamboo. Bamboo. How programmers how programmers and cats are alike. They both can sit in the same position for a long time and get excited when they find a bug. Wow. That was not written well. No, that was a little that was hard to <laughs> 
I sent my hearing aids for a pair two weeks ago. Haven't heard anything since. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Why can't you send a duck to space? Oh, I love ducks. Buck quack. Butt quack. Butt quack. How can a leopard change his? You spot? didn't hear the punchline. Oh, sorry, punch I missed line. it. Punchline. Punchline. I thought butt quack. I've uh, done maybe not. no. Why? It's, it's because a dad joke. The bill would be astronomical. No. Uh, <laughs> butt quack. Butt quack. I haven't heard. We have said this one before, but it still makes me laugh. How do you get if you cross an angry sheep with a moody cow? A bad mood? An animal that's in a bad mood. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, (laughs) I'm sorry. Go ahead. What is what is the biggest type of ant? Oh. An elephant. I don't know. Elephant. I'm really excited for the amateur autopsy club I just joined. Oh no. Amateur autopsy club? Amateur Autopsy Club. Okay. Tuesday is open mic night. Uh, <laughs> no. What did the big what did the what did the big flower say to the tiny flower? I don't know. Hey there, bud. <laughs> and what's the hardest cult to join? Oh, the difficult. I, the difficult. Yeah. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. hold on. Big I got one more. Well, uh, he's looking, folks. He's looking. Is he? I don't know. Ah. I accidentally rubbed ketchup in my eyes. Oh yeah. I now have Heinz sight. Heinz sight. Last one. Uh, what do you call a security guard outside of a Samsung store? I don't know. Out of his league, out of the galaxy. A guardian of a galaxy. Guardian of the galaxy. Nah. Uh, uh, and that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up our show for this week. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We are your brothers in arms. This is episode 95 of this craziness happenance. Happening and then stuff. Happening and um, stuffs. Yes. So good times. Great oldies. Glad you're here. We're uh, old. <laughs> I, I, it's okay. I'll wear that badge. I, I, I'm I proud of it, but man. I'll wear that badge. That's, I mean, think about it. Real quick. Just real quick. 20 years ago, would we be talking about making beer? No. No, exactly. No. <laughs> Not Alex even. is like. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no. Uh, or going on a, a family cruise with a 17 and a 16 year old. Oh my gosh. No. Right? Exactly. Like this, this is just, yeah, we're old. And that's okay because we recognize that we're not trying to live beyond that, before that. Yes. We're just accepting of the fact and. We love who we are. So, mm. family, thanks for hanging out with us. We truly appreciate you. Uh, again, twitch.tv slash Brothers in Arms Podcast. Uh, Twitter, at your BIA podcast. YouTube, Brothers in Arms Podcast, all one word. And happy birthday, Grandma. All right. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Grandma. Happy birthday, Grandma. All right, anybody want to close it up? What you got, Greg? Oh, as yeah. always, I will never I'll, I'll, yeah, drink water. Change your socks. Take Motrin. I can't wear socks right now because my feet are burnt. Thank I'm. We- oh, <laughs> is it? Is it? Is it worse than when you went on your honeymoon? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Good. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Alex. We'll su- uh, sanitize. Say it, please. <laughs> Wash your hands. Uh, and make sure that if you're making beer, you sanitize. Because otherwise, your beer is going to look like it's a sour. Ew. And that's just. I'll say it, I'll say gross. it again. Sanitation, sanitation, sanitation. Sanitize. Sanitize. And I would finish with this.
plan to take your vacation. Amen. Unplug. Don't worry. It'll still be there when you get back. Yep. But unplug and plug in. Recharge. Love yourself. All right. Love you guys. Have a great week. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time. Love you, boys. Love you guys. Love you too, brother. Bye. Bye, everybody. Oh, bye, Goodbye, now. Bye, everybody. I got, got to, to go. go. That's three. Boom, baby. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> bye. Bye. Bye.